Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. We are continuing our previous shir on the topic of Hatalas Mum B'Kachim. And in the previous shir, we learned the big Yisod, a uh, possible pshat in the Rambam, that the Rambam says that if one is Matal Mum B'Kachim is Man Hazeh, he is over on a lav, but he doesn't get Malkus. And we wanted to explain possibly the pshat is that it's a chatsi echu, chatsi shiur be'echus, that he did a, it's half of the quality because since bizman is there, there's no chiyuv to bring korbanos, there is only a rishus, makriva mafo pisha in bias, so it's a rishus to bring. So when he is matil mum bekachim, when he places a mum on the animal, when he inflicts him a, a blemish on the animal, so essentially he is disqualifying it from being offered in the Beit HaMikdash, which is no longer a Chiyuv. So therefore, the Malchus is removed, is negated, no longer Malchus, but there is still a Lav because he passed the carbon. This could have been brought as a carbon. That is a synopsis of what we learned in the previous shir. The Achronim discussed this Isra of Chatzishir, shir, learned in the Gemara in Yuman Ayn Dalar Amad Aleph. It says, Kol Chelev Lo Sochelu, the Rabbis Chatzi Shir. In other words, we can say two ways. We can say that Kanan is Chadesh Isser Chadosh, that there's a completely new Isser, and the shame Isser is a Chatsi Shir. Or we can say no, that this Pasuk is a Gilui Milsa, that the Isser of Chelev is also on a Chatsi Shir. Meaning that when one eats a Chatsi Shir of Chelev, he's not over on the general Isser of Chatsi Shir, he's over on the specific Isser of Chelev, just Chatsi Shir. And therefore, there is no Malkus, but Chatsi Shir is still Esser in the Torah. The Binyan Shlomo writes about this in Simon Mem Aleph. So, we can possibly bring a Raya to this, that the Etzem, Chatsi Shir, is the same Isser, and that's what we wanted to say in the previous Shir, it's the same Isser and the same Lav as a complete Shir. And that is from what the Achronim discussed, the like, Gabei Chatsi Shir B'Kiyom HaMitzvahs, that there's such a concept that we have, for example, a Marit Al-Ghazi in the 8th parak of B'chor, it's always Pei Aleph, Yivor Mas Chorisi Latos, who writes, Sri Lai Latos, the Mekayim Miktsas Mitzvah B'Nesinas Chatsi Chamesh, B'Kayim Alan Kari, the Chatsi Shir, Asr men hatar lenyan iser ukedam rina kain lenyan lav hu adin dam rina lenyan mitzvah sase diim ein lo kiim pachos mikzayis matzah b'leil pesach chayev laachlo kaim in the mekayim mixes mitzvah hu adin afilu bepidyon the shirim furish b'torah v'ainu hey slime the nasam chamesh chatsi chamesh mekayim ktsas mitzvah the Maril Gazi says that. Just like there's an Isser of Chatsi Shir, and that Torah is also a mitzvah of Chatsi. A mitzvah of Chatsi Shir, which means that if you have a half a kezayis of matzah, eat it. Eat it and don't say, I can't eat the whole thing, so I'm not going to eat it all. No, eat your Chatsi Shir kezayis matzah. If you have only two and a half slimes, so give it to the Kohen. You can't do the whole five, so give him two and a half. Ravadi Yosef in his Sefer Chazon Ovadia on, the, on Pesach has a long, long arichus in this Indian. He has Makaris there. Wow. Mikan la vad lo as they say in modern Hebrew. Lots and lots of Makaris. So you can look there for many, many rayas and in other sources. Today we have computers. You do a quick computer search. Is this concept of Chatsi Shir Mitzvah? Some people argue and they say there is no Chatsi Shir Mitzvah. But if we go with those Achronim who hold that there is Kiyo Mitzvah, so we can compare this to Chatsi Shir Asr Menat Torah. So when they say that you're Makayim, a Chatsi Shir Mitzvah, what they mean is you're Makayim that Mitzvah. In other words, you're not eating. Just doing a half a mitzvah in general, you're eating matzah. You're getting half of mitzvah's matzah. You're getting half of mitzvah's pitch and aben. So the chor in the world of Isser, it's the same thing. 
It's not that you're doing a general Avera, but that you're doing this specific Avera. That if you do a Chatz Yishir Avera, it's this Avera. And therefore, if somebody is, like we said, uh, he's over on the Yisr of Atalas Mum, but only in a Chatz Yishir. Be'echus in quality, because Bizman Azeh, there's no longer a Chiyuv to be Mak of Karbanas, because we don't have a Beis HaMikdash. Now the Pasuk says in Yeshaya, Perak and Nivav, Pasuk Zayin, a famous Pasuk, Rav Yosim al Harkachi, Vesimachtim, Vives Tfilosi, Oiloiseyam, Vizuchem, Loratan al Mizbechi, etc. So what's Pshad in this Pasuk? That after the Beit HaMikdash is going to be built, that's what it means, based Tfilosi, then after we build the Beit HaMikdash, that's based Tfilosi, then Oiloiseyam, Vizuchem, Loratan al Mizbechi. Then we're going to be able to bring the Olos and the Zvachim with will on my Mizbech and Hashem's Mizbech. Ubevadai, this doesn't mean that when there's no Beis HaMikdash, there are no Korbanas. We pask in my Kweev and Alpha Pishain Bayis. So rather, what's Pshat in the Pasuk? That even though it's Shaykh to be Mak of Korbanas, even if there is no Beis HaMikdash, nevertheless, these Korbanas are not Lerotan. It's only when the Bayis is Kayim that it's Lerotan al Mizbechi. So how do you know this? That even though it's kosher to bring karbanas, like we said, but the karbanas are not miskabel v'ratzen. So, if Gurevitz says, based on the Pasuk in B'chuk that it says, is mikdashechem b'loariach and I will make desolate their mikdash, and I will not smell their reach nicholach, their sweet-smelling incense. The Rambam writes, Perek Vov, Mirchus Beis HaBechira, Allah HaTezayin, the Rambam writes from this pasuk of Vashimosi as Mikdash Shechem. We learn that the Kedusha Smakom Mikdash is not bottle. Says Vashimosi as Mikdash Shechem. Even though they're desolate, they still retain their Kedusha. And therefore, we're makrif karbanos afal pi she'en beis hamikdash kayim. And the hemshech of that pasuk it says v'lo yariach berech nicholchechem. Targum Unkelos says v'lo akabel berava korban kinishtachon. Targum Yehonasan writes v'lo akabel berava reach korbanchon. So we see from this that even though you can be makrif karbanos even bezman she beis hamikdash charev shamim, but these karbanos are not miskabel beratzon. So that's what it means v'lo yariach berech nicholchechem. That these karbanos are not going to be miskabel beratzon. Again, Uncle says, "I will not be makabel berava beratzon carbon kinishlech on the carbon of your community." Targum Yonason says, "Lo akabel berava won't be makabel beratzon the reach the smell of your karbanos." Same idea. There's not. There's going to be no ruts. In other words, they're going to be karbanos. Vashimosi is mikdash shechem. They're going to make a desolate. They're going to be no more based on mikdash. And but you can still bring karbanos. But still, lo reach berech nicholchechem. They're not going to, God's not going to smell it. It's not going to be le rotten. So we can say that that's what it says in the Pasuk in Yeshaya. Rabbi Yosim al Harkachi, Vesimachim Beis Tfilasi, or the same as of Chaim le rotten al Mizbechi, that in order that their Kabbanos should be be rotten, we need to dafka that the Beis Hamikdash should be built. And therefore the Pasuk says, Rabbi Yosim al Harkachi, I'm going to bring you to my holy mountain. I'm going to be Mesamech, you and my Beis Tfilasi, there's going to be a bias there. And then all the same as the Lerotzon, Dafka, then it's going to be Lerotzon when we have the Beis HaMikdash. If that's the case, so we could say Advar Chidush, that this essay, that it says, Tom and Yi Lerotzon, that this is an Isser essay, as we learned previously, on Hatolas Mum Bikotchim, that you're not allowed to inflict a blemish on sacred animals. So that was said to Dafka, is Mancha Beis HaMikdash Kayam. Why? Because only then it's shaykh that the karbanos will be the rotson. What's Lashon HaPasuk? Tomim yiyeh the rotson. When is it going to be the rotson? Only when we have the Beis HaMikdash. Avo v'zman she'ein Beis HaMikdash kayim. That this whole Indian isn't shaykh. So then we don't have this mitzvah anymore of Tomim yiyeh the rotson. Because anyway they're not the rotson. In other words, what's the problem? 
of making a moment kachim, that it's not going to be l'ratzen. But when there's no base on Mikdash, anyway, it's not l'ratzen. So this iser of Tamiya l'ratzen should only be when the base of Mikdash is, is standing, but now when the base of Mikdash is not standing. And if we say this, then we understand what we said earlier. Like it's man base of Mikdash kain, kolish lehai iser, this iser becomes weaker. So yeah, he's over on the lab. Why? Because it's chatsi shir be'echus. You're right, there's not going to be ratzim like there once was, but you can still bring the carbon. So it's still going to be an iser, but it's not the iser shalim. What's the iser shalim? When it's no longer the ratzim, when it could have been the ratzim, but it's no longer the ratzim, i.e., we have a base hamikdash, and then he's matil mumba kachim, which means that it's not le ratzim, because now we can't bring the carbon anymore. So now we can't bring this carbon the ratzim. But there could have, it could have been the ratzim, because we have a base hamikdash. So that's the complete shear of iser. But this man and zeh, that it's not going to be the ratzon anyway, because we don't have a base on Mikdash. That's only a chatzi shir be'echus ha'iser. And the Mela, there is no malchus. And that would be pshat in the Rambam, why there's an iser but no malchus. And there is so much more to say on the sugya. We have a lot more to do, Amir Tashem. We should be zelchel v'lmod u'lelameid, v'shmor v'lansos, u'lekayim is called divrei salmu terasu v'yahava, amen v'yamein. Shalom, shalom, sweetest and most beloved friends.